Hello everybody and welcome back to Mighty V Plays for Open Universe House 4 as Muscovy. I'm thinking we might need another army. Like it couldn't hurt. Because we got some wars declaring soon coming on I'm thinking. Save game belongs to another user. I'm the only user so I don't know what that means. See, Perm is having some issues too. Permian Separatist. They're at 70%. Eh, this is gonna happen as long as we got the. Let's see, what is that? Separatism. Separatism is gonna go down pretty fast though. Because of that idea that we got. Sure, are you? I don't tend to build up to my maximum force limit anyways. For me it's having a lot of issues though. So declaring on Uzbek should be pretty simple. As soon as we get done with some more of these. Luckily none of our real neighbors care about aggressive expansion to us because we don't border anybody really who means much are you at war with the timids? this little guy declared war on you man he said tech 11 so I mean I'm not gonna badmouth him pretty amazing they're both at tech 9 though so that's gonna be pretty nice You are Muslim, so you're 140 percent, and you're nomadic, so you're 175. So I should be able to stay ahead of them tech-wise too. Castile has set Sweden as their new rival. You doing well over here, Castile? Yeah, you conquered Algiers. Let's see. Burgundy. Burgundy's been surviving more lately, I've noticed. So is Brittany. Usually those places are a mess. Hungary's attacking Austria. That's different. And you attacked Hungary. Heh, <laughs> nice. Briara used to be a reddish color, now it's green. It's different. You know us in three different wars too. Defender, defender, attacker. No thank you, Norway. No way, Norway. Sure, I'll take that. Eh, I'll save up for the 600. Because the idea groups, the next idea is not okay necessarily, but the one after that's amazing. You're attacking somebody else, which is why the Timurids are in trouble. Uzbek, Crimea, and Georgia. Crimea is in debt. Uzbek's falling off. Wow. This is looking better and better for us. Which is good, of course. Just odd. That, there we go, that claim only took a year. I don't know why the other ones are taking like three years then. I mean, in reality, probably only like two, but... We've lost a claim. No. Those are all the claims they got in the Livonian order. Austria is just being pieced apart though, wow. Holy Roman Empire is looking like a mess. That tends to happen though. 
Unrest has gone down everywhere a lot. Just because of like separatism at one now. Like they're not bad at all. <laughs> Norway's having a ton of issues too. Like what's your prestige at? Negative hundreds. Negative seventy four. We're doing tech wise pretty well though actually. Sweden games a claim on us, please don't. You're not really that mad to us in reality though. No more mad about who we ha associate ourselves with. I mean, separatists are going to be rising up soon, they believe. Well, well. Deal with it when it happens. Emirates have accepted peace with Uzbek. They will seize a bunch of land. Yeah, I should probably set that up. Some message settings. You select all. We shall want our enemies, our neighbors. We want best guests and allies. Yeah. Turn that off and on. It seems like it helps sometimes. Yeah, they now bore us even more. We're, we're fa um, fabricating right here, right now. How much troops do Uzbek even have, though? Armies, Uzbek. They're towards the bottom. 42,000 in 200 manpower. Ouch. And then at the opposite, yeah, I'm paused. At the opposite end of the spectrum, how much does Crimea have? 23,000 and 6,000 manpower. Ow. This is gonna hurt. Like, they have. They have. Let's see. Almost. They have just about half our troops. But no manpower, and we have a ton. They're at lower tech than us. Like, this is gonna hurt. A lot. I think we only have one more fabrication after this next one, and then we'll have all the claims we can have. I mean, I think this land's pretty bad. Six. That's eight's okay. Three. There's gonna be like a lot of threes coming up. Nine's okay. Thirty-three. Is that a thirty-three development, man? Their capital's way over here, unfortunately, though. Yeah, I don't know why this province is at 33. It must be like some super heavy thing. If you notice, though, um, we exist in... Like, this is a Russian area. This is like the Ruther Russian. But once you pass, like, a line over here, it goes from like yeah, Russian right here to be in Central Asia. So that means that anything over this line, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe not. It's all connected to our capital, so I think that means that it's actually not that bad. Yeah, never mind what I was gonna say. It was totally wrong. Can we build any cool buildings yet? Yeah. Oh, I'll take care of that. That'll give us no more money, really. Better build those. 0 0.6, 0 0.3, 0 0.45. There we go. Go back to this. Okay. But I'll just put my leader in charge here. See if I can get in there to stop them from trying to conquer it. Because if they conquer it, there's going to be a lot more separatism for a while. Yeah, we got there in time. Good. And reinforcements are on their way. You totally failed me, though, on the timing.
Ten more years of separatism because of that. Thanks, gentlemen. Can you not use an army from a, a general from a retreating army? I guess I could get another general. Wouldn't be the worst idea. The other one's better, but oh well. Hey, we can actually get the next tech. Of admin. Missionary strength plus one, just because. Nice. Why is it going so badly? It shouldn't be going so badly. Can I assign that other guy to you? Yeah. Is there just like a major river crossing everywhere or something? Yes, yeah, support. There we go, we're finally winning that. I don't know why that was going so bad. No clue. Too many leaders. And I, of course I can't disband him until he stops running. Oh well. No leader. Him. I agree with a lot of other people though about this game who say um, you should be able to receive more leaders throughout the game based on how big your country is, or based on maximum number of troops. Because it just doesn't seem right that you have to wait. So long just to get somewhere. And I mean it isn't right. Fabricate another claim, I forgot. Yep, one more after this. Well, I can declare war with this one actually. And we're reinforcing, which is why it's, yeah, you know, we were losing money for a second. But that's over. Pass whatever act. You haven't broken free of like Poland, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poland's actually integrating them. Wow. Nice. That's gonna take a long time, but once I get him, I mean, Poland's gonna be the ultimate ally. Through relations, <laughs> keep them friendly. We have a chance of our air also being there. I think we should probably stop doing that though. It's kind of something that's never really going to work out, but... I'm also excited because I have to... I'm going to be doing a lot more recordings than normal today, so I can actually get a lot of stuff that I'd normally forget done. Which is kind of a problem probably, because of the fact that usually coming out with a fresh perspective is good. That way you can play a little bit, and then you come back and forth, back and forth. Different, totally different ideas. Tobacco in Europe, whatever. don't think I have any tobacco up here anyways. Oh, how'd that war go then? Yep, they got wrecked. They have a treaty with literally everybody in the world. <laughs> Venice grew huge off that. Hungary probably expanded, it looks like. Yeah, that didn't go well for them. Somebody's attacking... Flanders has actually taken some of England. But England's taken all of Scotland. Well, it's whatever.
Once I get a little bit more land, I think I'll increase my army too. Which, as soon as I start this fabrication, which will be in the next episode. Because I'd like to thank you guys for watching. That's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.